Parliament of the Republic of Kenya to act differently from other parliaments of the world, at least of the civilized world. The world of, uh, Madam Speaker, parliaments are known as public spaces, public utilities, public institutions that the public access at will. This happens even at the Capitol Hill in the U.S. Everywhere, you go to go to uh, to Westminster Bay in the U.K. Everywhere, including some cities in Africa. Now, Speaker, Madam Speaker, I want you to make a, a ruling, a ruling, Madam Speaker, to guide first and foremost the House, but more importantly the police, because if we allow this president that was set yesterday to have his way, we are going to basically be telling Kenyans and the world that this House or this Parliament of the Republic of Kenya wants to isolate itself from the very public it's supposed to be serving. Madam Speaker, what is it that, what kind of threat was the police or was the public, an armed public, going to pose to the House or anybody else by simply coming close to parliament and picketing and cheering and even jeering, Madam Speaker. We cannot afford to be seen to be complicit in the gagging of the public when they're expressing their views on issues which they feel are pertinent, Madam Speaker. The public must be allowed to not only access parliament but also to picket around it at will, at will, Madam Speaker. I am raising very serious issues. I know my friend doesn't understand. <laughs> yes. He has no capacity to understand what I'm trying to, to do. <laughs> yes. Madam Speaker, we have come a long way as a country. Kenyans went to the trenches. Kenyans went to the trenches to be able to attain the kind of freedoms we have currently under the Constitution. We must jealously guard those freedoms. That are yes, in the what's your point of order? Madam Speaker, thank you. But he has completed. Have you completed? Okay, let me conclude. Yes. So, Madam Speaker, I simply want to urge you, and let us let us be tolerant. Let us be tolerant, members. You know, in this house, we have been here with my friend Kimani Chungwa and others. Today, you are there shouting to please people in the executive. Tomorrow, you will be here crying. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, we have seen it all here. <laughs> so, Madam Speaker, let us not be, be seen to be people who are curtailing the freedoms and rights of Kenyans as enshrined in the very...